There's so many different types of magnesium that it can be really confusing which one to get. So in this video, I hope to break down the different types of magnesium, what they do, which ones are the best, what brand or supplement I recommend. And to help me do this, I sat down with the founder and CEO of Natural Stacks, a brain health supplement company that provides the highest quality of ingredients in their products. And we talk about all the different forms of magnesium and what to look out for when you're buying a magnesium supplement. We discuss how magnesium affects your biology, early signs of a magnesium deficiency, and the different forms of magnesium. I've made another video about the best magnesium for sleep, which I will link up here or down in the description for you to go check out where we cover some of this information. But in this video, we're gonna go much, much deeper. Consider this a magnesium masterclass, and by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to pick the magnesium supplement that's right for you. In addition to that, I wanna tell you a little story about why this is so important and why I wanna bring this information to you because uh, I have been helping people optimize their sleep through my program, The Sleep Advantage, which I will link up down below if you're interested in improving your sleep. What I realized is that magnesium can be a really important mineral to help aid in the sleep process, in particular one form of magnesium, which we're gonna discuss in a bit. I was taking this magnesium daily, but I soon realized after doing a little bit of research that the brand of magnesium that I was taking uh, had high levels of arsenic in it. So for me, I went looking for a magnesium supplement that was gonna be clean and that was not gonna be tainted with any um, dangerous levels of, of heavy metals. When you're looking for a magnesium supplement, uh, know that that is one of the most important things to keep in mind is not just the form of magnesium that you're taking, but the purity of that mineral and to ensure that the sourcing of that product is clean and not tainted with anything or have dangerous levels of anything else, any other chemicals that might be harmful to the human body because uh, magnesium is a supplement that we can take almost daily. You know, it's, it's very safe compound and thus we want to be aware of you know where are the ingredients of our products coming from so just something to note why i was so inspired to to make this video and to help you so let's dive into the actual science so let's start out with some of the early signs that you might be dealing with a magnesium deficiency uh, maybe i have some some fatigue uh, some muscle weakness and maybe my sleep's not not the greatest you know all these things can be early signs of a magnesium deficiency. And over time, those deficiencies can get worse and they can become headaches and, and they can become, you know, like almost personality changes. Your mood is, is so poor on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, easily stressed out, not sleeping, insomnia, and then taking it a step further over years and years of deficiency, heart issues, you know, it's, it, it can get pretty serious. So I asked Roy about the different types of magnesiums and he gave me this general rule where you can split magnesiums into two categories. And I thought this was a really useful rule for consumers out there. So if you're thinking about buying a magnesium supplement, I want you to just keep this one idea in mind to split the two categories. There's a lot of confusion around magnesium and the, all the different types and subtypes. Could you give us sort of a breakdown of what you see to be the most important types of magnesium? And can you also break down what those different types do for us? Yeah, it's, it's confusing, I think, as a con consumer because there are like 20 different types of magnesium. They're quite drastic in their absorption rates and molecular, how, how they look, how they interact with, with your body once you do intake them. In a very, very general sense, you want to look for a magnesium form that ends in ATE. Eight magnesium three and eight magnesium glycinate magnesium chlorate. If it has an ATE, that means it's chelated or chelated, and that is the process of binding a magnesium molecule to an amino acid. And your body is extremely efficient at absorbing an amino acids of all types. That's what your food groups are made out of: is amino acids. So your body is really good at absorbing amino acids. Like I said, really poor at absorbing minerals. So if you can bind that magnesium molecule to an amino acid, you take it back that amino acid and you're able to get it into your bloodstream a lot more efficiently. Lower quality or, or lower absorbed forms are going to end the I-T-E or I-D-E, I. -D -E -I and, and those forms are not chelated or chelated. Magnesium chloride is actually the best for transdermal absorption for a lotion or, or a salt bath. The most common form of magnesium in supplements, which is, you know, unfortunate, is magnesium oxide. It's very cheap, it's very cheap to source, and you'll see it in most multivitamins because it's, it's very dense. It doesn't require much material by weight to get a serving of magnesium. But 
And using oxide, studies have shown that it's only like 9% absorbed in your body. If you get such a low absorption rate from the magnesium, you're going to potentially have some negative side effects like loose stools or just gastrointestinal discomfort because it is literally going through you. You're not absorbing it. I'd say kind of the next grade up from magnesium oxide would be magnesium citrate. And magnesium citrate is quite common. It's kind of the middle grade, I'd say. And that is magnesium that's bound to citric acid. And so citric acid itself is, is kind of rough on your gut. Some people might have some issues with it. Most people can absorb, can take it okay, but Really, it's not that great absorbed. Studies have shown magnesium citrate is only like 30% absorbed, 20 something to 33% absorbed. But if you can find a really high quality form that's chelated or chelated to an amino acid, like magnesium glycinate, you're looking at 70, 80% absorption rates. And these magnesiums are not very dense, so you need a, a higher per serving weight. So Instead of taking one small capsule, you might need to take two or three or four capsules, but the actual elemental magnesium in that serving size is going to be so well absorbed that it's actually going to get into your body. You can actually feel the positive benefits of it. So now you have a clear delineation between the types of magnesium that you might be interested in, might be advantageous for your supplementation protocol, and then you have the ones that you might want to stay away from. So I asked Roy, why did he choose the forms that he chose? and put them all together in his MagTech blend. So in our MagTech magnesium, we have three different kinds of magnesium. It's a magnesium blend that's very complete, that's targeting different absorption rates. Your brain and your body and your ability to relax kind of all in one. You're like guaranteed to get a great absorption because it's not a singular form. It's three different types of magnesiums that are all bound to different amino acids that you're going to ensure great absorption because each one of these forms of magnesium is 80% or so absorption rates bound to different amino acids. So you're basically different pathways in your body to get absorbed. What's super cool about these chelated minerals is that not only are you getting the benefits of the magnesium, you get the benefit of the amino acid that it's bound to. I thought that we could create a better version by combining basically the three best forms of magnesium into one supplement. Hey, quick interruption. If you're liking this content, smash that like button, please. And if you're not already, consider subscribing. And let's get back to the content. Magnesium threonate has just awesome human studies. Most of the studies are on elderly folks, like you know, not, not elderly, but 50 to 70 years old. They actually have one study showing that it lowers brain age by nine years. They're studying brain age by just cognitive impairment. So they did a bunch of a battery of cognitive tests and so this specialty form magnesium threonate is the only form of magnesium that's been shown to effectively cross the blood brain barrier to have significant positive effects in the brain. And that's short-term memory, long-term memory, general cognition, and basically the, the repair of synapses, having more synapse density, allowing your neurotransmitters to fire more effectively, allowing more mental agility, which on the cognitive tests are showing short-term and long-term memory and just general cognitive ability from a magnesium, you know, which is super cool. Most people don't think of magnesium as a nootropic, uh, but it can be. So magnesium threonate, and then we combine that with magnesium taurate, which is magnesium that's bound to taurine. You may have heard of taurine, it's responsible for energy production, but it's also great for neuron health in the brain. Magnesium taurate is really great for muscle health and muscle recovery. So magnesium taurate, when you combine magnesium with taurine, you're getting kind of full body relaxation, relieving tension in your body, which if you can relieve tension in your body, you're also relieving tension in your mind. You know, you're, you're able to relax. And then the third kind of magnesium in our formula MagTech is magnesium glycinate. And that's magnesium that's bound to glycine. People may have heard of glycine. And glycine just helps with sleep, helps with calmness and relaxation. Glycine is actually a precursor to GABA which is an important neurotransmitter in your brain that's responsible for calmness, zen, relaxation, being able to fall asleep. If you look at all three of those together, you have magnesium threonate for the brain, magnesium taurate for the body, and then magnesium glycinate for calmness and relaxation. People really do feel the benefits of just a mental zen, a physical zen, and then being able to fall asleep faster and stay asleep longer. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, knowing where your 
product is sourcing said ingredients is incredibly important to making sure this is a compound that you can take daily, right? We don't want to be ingesting something that we think is good for us, but has some sort of additive or, or chemical exposure to something else that might be harming us in the long term. So knowing where your ingredients are coming from and knowing the manufacturers are extremely important. And so Roy has taken it upon himself to open source his manufacturers and third party test every batch in the MagTech formula. So Anytime they produce a new round of supplements, you know exactly where, it's came, where it came from, you know who's producing it, you know exactly what's in the uh, bottle. There's no proprietary formulas, no nothing to hide any of the ingredients. So we created this open source program which refers to our quality and transparency program. We call it open source. I just saw when I was talking to this company the severe lack of transparency in the industry, proprietary formulas, no information or knowledge of where these ingredients came from and then no third-party tests or COAs to back up that finished product. And so our open source program hits on all three of those. We have full ingredient traceability. We disclose who all of our ingredient suppliers are. Where did that ingredient come from? We tell you who the supplier is. Full label disclosure, so nothing proprietary. No proprietary blends. We tell you the exact extract, extract percentages. If it's a etylated mineral, what it's bound to. The third-party lab testing on every single batch, identity and potency testing on every single batch, and then we share those lab tests for our consumers. And this is every single batch. You know, it's pretty rare that a supplement company shares those results or, or even does that sort of level of testing because it is quite expensive. You know, it's a, it's a natural mineral that, that comes from, from natural resources. If it's kind of a commodity type ingredient that's, that's maybe a low grade source in China, they may not have the same sort of quality testing or their soils aren't as clean. Our magnesium is actually sourced from seawater of the Great Salt Lakes in Utah. It's quite a clean source of magnesium. Most minerals are going to have you know, very trace amounts of, of heavy metals just because that's, that's normal. But you definitely shouldn't have high levels of arsenic in, in your supplements. That's not normal. I think just the first step is, is if you're looking at a supplement, asking that brand, who's your supplier? You know, where did it come from? And they should be able to answer that. You know, and if not, it's kind of a red flag. So I went searching for a magnesium supplement that I could trust and something that I could take daily because of my experience with the other brand. I stumbled upon MagTech. I found out it had all three of the best types of magnesium, as well as it had clean ingredients and I could trust where their product was coming from. So if you wanna try MagTech, go to the link below in the description or in the first comment and use code KyleGotCamera at checkout and you'll get a discount. I hope it educated you, helped you learn about magnesium and, and know what to look for when you're picking a supplement. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one.